All right, when applying toe grips, the directions say that you're going to slide the grip up the nail. And I've come to realize that that language um, may not be accurate in every situation. There is some degree of effort in getting this toe grip worked up the nail, and I want to demonstrate that now. The first thing you want to do is stabilize the toe, similar to how you would press a cat's claw to extend it. I'm not putting excessive pressure that's causing the dog any discomfort. This is my dog, Luke. He's just laying peacefully here on the table. But I'm, ex I'm stabilizing it with a little just gentle pressure so that I, when I go to press the toe grip on, I'm not twerking into the toe itself, which for a senior dog with arthritic toes could be painful. So I stabilize. Then I'm going to take my lubricated toe grip that had isopropyl alcohol on the grip just to make it slide on a little easier. And I'm going to press it as far up the nail as I can. Now, once it's on the nail, this is when I get to the working part. You can do this with fingertip or fingernail. And I'm just going to kind of seesaw back and forth, top to bottom, side to side, working the grip up the nail. I don't really work it very far on the bottom because it needs to be in the grip zone. If, it, if you push it too far on the bottom of the nail, it moves up the nail shaft and just becomes a decoration or a nail ring. So it's critical that on the bottom, we know that it's contacting the ground when the dog is, is in stride. But on the top, I do angle it further back, being sure that I'm not anywhere near the, the skin of the nail bed, which is back here on, on Luke. And side to side, like I said, just kind of slowly working it in place. And once you get the hang of this, it's pretty intuitive and you can do it very, very quickly. But that's what I mean by work the toe grip up the nail into place.